Hey coaches and welcome to my channel where I discuss the perfect play football system. The perfect play football system is a modern day spread offensive system that is the most explosive and creative spread offensive system being used at any level of football today. In today's video we're going to discuss the reverse bubble screen and how it is used in the perfect play football system. Please give the video a thumbs up and make comments down below and please bang that bell for those notifications. Here's my contact information. You can follow me on Twitter at Perfect Play Football or you can email me at perfectplayfootball at gmail.com. And as always, Perfect Play Football is sponsored by Game Changer Fundraising, which provides the most low maintenance and high profit fundraiser used today. I used it for 15 of my 18 years as a head football coach, which is why I started the company. A fundraiser for coaches designed by coaches. Contact me if you're interested in learning more about Game Changer Fundraising and learn how to earn an extremely high profit with very little effort. The Perfect Play Football System will teach you how to become your own offensive expert. So you no longer have to worry about chasing coaches online or at clinics, only to learn how to you get yourself in trouble. I will show you how to attack defenses and how to attack all of the defensive adjustments to your base plays. You will create your offense to score fast and score a lot of points. And your biggest problem will be that everyone will accuse you of running up the score. So let's get into today's topic. All right, we're looking at the bubble screen. Here we're looking in the trips formation, usually to the field. We're not gonna be concerned with what's happening in the box. This is gonna be a four two box, middle open shell defense. We have a single receiver into the boundary. And we're looking, we're gonna block the bubble screen in this way. We're gonna down block, first defender inside, the Z will block down, and the Y will arc to the corner. The Z goes first to the Sam linebacker, the Y will arc to the corner. Now we are forcing the defensive players to gap out. They have to run to their gaps. They're running to gaps in the box. They're gonna to run to gaps based on what we do with X. They're gonna to run to gaps based on how we're blocking for the bubble screen. So the defensive gaps, we are forcing them to gap out. The SAM now must fit over the top of the Z's down block, his crack, fit over the top here. The corner must fit outside of Y's kickout block. So they cover these two gaps. If they do not, if the SAM doesn't get outside of the down block by Z, then the H will catch the screen and he has a nice crease to run the ball in right up the numbers. If the corner sticks his head inside of Y's kickout block, then the H catches the ball and he's down the sideline. Now I've not talked about one defender. We looked at the SAM and we've looked at the corner, but we haven't talked about the free safety or what I like to call the secure defender. The secure defender's job is to make sure everything happens in front of him, nothing gets behind him, and he comes up late. So he attacks this screen late. Sam attacks it right away. The corner attacks it right away. The secure player, the free safety, will play soft, keep everything in front, and then come up late to make the tackle. The free safety in this middle open shell is the unblocked defender in this look. So once again, the SAM must fit over the top of Z's block. The corner fits outside of the Y's block and they have these gaps taken care of. They canceled those out and the free safety comes up late to assist on the play. Now the problem is that once the SAM gets out of this gap where he's aligned and he hops over the top, then they have given up this area of grass between about the top of the numbers to the hash mark. And that's what brings us to the next reaction to the play. We call a reverse bubble. Everything looks the same. We're blocking down with the Z receiver onto Sam. We're kicking out with the Y on the corner. And we are running the bubble initially with a three or four step bubble route. And then we are coming back inside on the tunnel at that point, almost like a uh, jailbreak screen or tunnel screen where an outside receiver will take three steps upfield, one, two, three, and then come back for the ball behind the line of scrimmage. 
H is going to do something similar to that, except he's going to run his steps towards the sideline like a bubble route. So he'll take his bubble route steps, plant on his outside foot, come back inside, catch the ball, and he will have a crease between the top of the numbers and the hash that he can run in. Once again, we're forcing the mic and the wheel and all these defenders in the box to gap out to the run play. We have forced the Sam to hop over Z's block. So now when the Z cracks down, blocks down on the Sam, the Sam hops over his block because that's the Sam's gap. Now the Z will simply turn and pin him on the numbers. The corner will fit in his gap, and the Y will simply kick him out to the sideline. So we have pinned both the Sam and the corner on the numbers or to the numbers it's to the sideline. That leaves the free safety unblocked. Now the H has more room instead of everybody, all the gaps being taken on the perimeter. Now we're coming back inside, and the H has more room to, to work his magic on the free safety. So we have forced the defenders to gap out to the bubble screen, and once they do, then we attack them with this reverse bubble coming back between the numbers and the hash mark. That concludes today's video. In summary, we discussed the reverse bubble and when it is used and why it is used to attack defenses. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and make comments down below and bang that bell for those notifications. And as always, score fast, score often, and never apologize.